Question 9 says the figure below shows the essential parts of a hydraulic brake system. The area of the piston in the master cylinder is 1.8 square centimeters, and that of the piston in the brake cylinder is 6.4 square centimeters. The coefficient of friction between the shoe and the wheel drum is 0.5. If the wheel has a radius of 41 centimeters, determine the frictional torque about the axle when a force of 48 newtons is exerted on the brake pedal. So what we have here is this uh, this wheel is it has a a brake pushing on it and the force of of friction so the the friction if the wheel is turning this way the force of friction in the opposite direction is equal to so the force of of kinetic friction is equal to the coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force. So the normal force is the force of the shoe pushing this way. So that's the normal force. We got to figure out what the normal force is. And so um, basically, what we what we know is any force that's exerted on in on the total force exerted on this is going to be transferred and spread out over here. So the force on this is going to equal the force right here. But although the the force right here is going to be completely transferred along here, it's not also true, it is not true that the force here is going to be transferred exactly here. So we have to figure out if a certain amount of force is exerted here, how is that going to translate to this side right here? And so I want to draw a picture uh, draw a picture to kind of illustrate the point here. Let's take this as, as uh, and I don't like that, so... Anyhow, so let's just say that this is the piston right here that's pushing inward, and that this is the piston that's being pushed outward. And so, um, imagine that this whole thing is filled with fluid, and that the fluid is pushing out with equal pressure everywhere. The pressure everywhere is exactly equal. And so it would be safe to say, uh, because pressure is a ratio, pressure is equal to force divided by area. And so you could say that the this area has the same exact pressure as, as this area. Because although the forces are not the same, the ratio of the force to the area is the same. And so what you have to know is that the, the force divided by the area right here is going to equal the force divided by the area right here. And so by making the the um, master cylinder very small, it actually increases the force that's transferred over to the, the braking cylinder. And so let's go ahead and record down what we have in here. So we know that the area, the area of the first side is 1.8 square centimeters and the force the force on that first side is going to be 48 newtons. The area on the second side was 6.42 uh, centimeters. And so in order to set this up, I'll just set it up as, as, um, as converted to meters. So 48, because newtons are, are meters, I'm sorry, newtons are kilograms times meters per second squared. And so in order to um, set this ratio up, I need to have this in meters and this in meters. So 48 divided by 0 0.018 is going to equal some, some force divided by 0 0.0642. So when you solve that algebraically, you get that the, the force 2 is equal to 48 over 0 0.018 times 0 0.0642 and so the the force 2 is equal to 171.2 newtons and what what you see is that 48 newtons on the smaller cylinder created 171.2 newtons on the larger cylinder and so when we're looking at the the braking force so the the braking force um is the or the 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 frictional torque is going to be, so torque is equal to the force times the distance, and the distance is going to be the radius. It gives us the radius as 
41 centimeters, so the distance is going to be 0 0.41. The force is the force of kinetic friction, so the force is going to is going to equal the coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force. Well, if this is our force 2 and it's pushing out against this brake pad and this brake pad is setting against a wheel drum, then the normal force is going to be the equal and opposite force of force 2. And so we don't have to do any calculating, we just have to use 171.2 as our normal force. And so we get that the, uh, the force of kinetic friction is equal to, and it gives us the coefficient of kinetic friction is 0 0.5 and then we got to multiply that by 171.2 and we can we can take that answer and we can plug that in right there and so what we'll get is that the torque is equal to 0 0.5 times 171.2 times 0 0.41 and so the torque is approximately equal to 35.096 Newton meters. So the, there's a two-step problem. The first step was to find the, the force transferred over to the other side. The second part was to, to calculate the, the frictional torque using, uh, using the force, uh, the coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force. And really I'm just talking now because I like the little pointer device.